Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a pet, or any pet really, follow you inside Roblox Studio. Now, I have the Pet Simulator X Dragon. This is all, like, Preston's pet, whoever's pet. This is just for an example to show you guys how to make this uh, system. So, first thing you want to do is put a local script inside starter player scripts. Um, I'm going to call it Pet Following. Just like that and then we will begin we will say local run service we go to game colon get service run service we'll say local player we go to game dot players dot local player and then we'll say local dragon or dragon will be equal to game dot workspace dot dragon and we will say run service dot render step uh, connect function and there you go then we will do an if statement so if um game dot or no 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 if dragon dot position minus player dot character dot humanoid uh, roots part dot position dot here dot magnitude Magnet, I think I spelled that right is smaller than or equal to 15 then we'll say then so if it's that then this will run so dragon dot c frame will equal to dragon dot c frame colon lerp and we will say player uh, dot character dot humanoid root part and we'll add on to it by saying vector three dot new let's do five comma three comma five just like that and we'll do a comma out here and we will say zero zero point zero five And now, oh, here, let me get rid of this real quick. That's not bad. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. So, the dragon is not, we're not near the dragon, so he is not following us. But if we get near him, oh, yeah, I probably made a spelling mistake. I typed that pretty quick. Um, time to do it for Add an instance. Uh, Oh, <laughs> that's my bad. Uh, you need to put C frame here. That's uh, my bad. Okay, now this should work. So when you go out here, and just ignore this. Just ignore this. This is like a UI I was working on. But if you get near the dragon, he follows you just like this. Let me change my uh, player speed. Walk speed will be 50. And yeah, look at. Oh, the, <laughs> we walk too fast, he can't keep up. But uh, yeah, there you go. The pet now follows you. Um, since we have like fast running, I'll just like turn this up like double. Since we will have fast running, I need to just do that really, really quick. Oh, where's my human on? Okay. Um, walk speed will be 30, let's say. And then, yeah, look at that. We run faster, and our pet dragon is still following us. And just to let you guys know, if your dragon is not anchored, and he starts moving around, then, oh, well, before, when I tested this, when you when you don't have the dragon anchored, then it like spazzes out and it won't work as well and it won't face you. But uh, now it will. But yeah, here as you can see, like when I turn, <laughs> the dragon turns, and like yeah, there you go. And that is how you make a pet following system. 
And if this did help you guys, then consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.